talk about Donaldson, you're talking about the third oldest city in the state of Louisiana. If you had to encapsulate Donaldsonville history all the way to 2007, the entire story begins with Biola Forgia. My memories of Donaldsonville as a child is, it's Paris in my mind. You're talking about the city with the second largest historic district, only after the New Orleans French Quarter. It's a political center. It's an architectural mecca. Much of what most of us as Americans know about slavery, we've learned from television, from Hollywood. You're talking about the city that is home to the United States of America's first African-American elected mayor. Unfortunately, most of what we know about slavery in America does not include Louisiana's very unique story. You're talking about a city that's home to the only Yankee fort in the Southern Theater of Battle in the Civil War. Civil War was around 1865, and I can tell people, I spoke to somebody who witnessed an action, a military action, during the Civil War. You're talking about a city that's home to Joe King Oliver, mentor, mentor to Louis Armstrong, bought him his first trumpet, taught him how to play. A lot of them say, I'd like to see the good old days come back, but not me. I was hungry in those days, you know? You're talking about a city which has uh, on record the most Jewish mayors of any other city in the United States of America. Donaldsonville actually was a hub for many of the Jewish settlers. You're talking about a city who, who is home to Francis Tallou Nichols, born right down the street from here, who became Louisiana's governor twice, Louisiana Supreme Court Justice, and may have decided the Hayes-Tilden presidential election single-handedly.